Disney has managed to cook up yet another spectacular failure, this time in the form of its live-action Snow White. But before we dig into this fiasco, let's get one thing straight. When people talk about the fairest of them all, they're probably not picturing a politically charged, CGI-filled train wreck with the grace of a three-legged llama on roller skates. Yet here we are. Buckle up, because this story involves epic PR blunders, massive reshoots, a spiraling budget, and one actress who seems determined to torch her own career, and Disney's legacy along with it. You'd think adapting a beloved Disney classic would be simple. Stick to the original charm, maybe sprinkle in a little modern pizzazz, and you've got a guaranteed hit, right? Wrong. Enter Rachel Zegler, the titular Snow White, who decided it was a great idea to publicly trash the 1937 animated masterpiece the same film that built Disney's empire. According to Zegler, the original story is outdated and weird. And the prince? Oh, he's a creepy stalker, obviously. There is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> because what better way to endear yourself to Disney fans than by insulting the film they adore? Genius. <laughs> Her remarks sparked outrage, with fans accusing her of arrogance and ignorance. And if you think this was just an isolated slip of the tongue, think again. She doubled down, dismissing romance as an irrelevant relic and claiming the story needed a feminist overhaul, because nothing screams empowerment like alienating your core audience. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. I just mean that it's no longer 1937 and we absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is... She's not going to be yeah, saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave and true. Reality is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago and therefore it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power. I'm going to stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess. I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. But uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? The backlash wasn't limited to fan outrage. Disney was forced to delay the movie's release to 2025 pouring millions into extensive reshoots to salvage what little remained of its credibility. Rumor has it the reshoots included toning down Ziegler's abrasive scenes and reworking the storyline to resemble something remotely palatable. But the damage was already done. The trailer was ratioed into oblivion with a staggering 12, one dislike to like ratio. <laughs> For context, even The Acolyte, another Disney flop in waiting, wasn't this hated. Fans were quick to mock the CGI dwarves, which replaced the politically incorrect mythical characters from the original story. Yes, Peter Dinklage's criticism of the film's portrayal of dwarves led Disney to scrap the entire concept, resulting in horrifying CGI creations that looked like they crawled out of a discount video game. Bravo, Disney. Truly groundbreaking. As if alienating fans wasn't enough, Ziegler also decided to wade into political waters. In a series of social media posts, she lashed out at Donald Trump and his supporters, wishing them eternal unrest. That's right, 80 million Americans who voted for Trump are, according to her, undeserving of peace. Because what better way to sell tickets than by insulting half the country? Genius marketing. Zegler's comments, including her bizarre insistence that Trump voters embody a false sense of masculinity and patriotism quickly went viral. Critics labeled her a Hollywood elitist who plays pretend for a living but feels entitled to lecture the public on politics. Her timing couldn't have been worse, with Disney already struggling to shake its reputation for prioritizing wokeness over quality storytelling. As if things couldn't get weirder, Gal Gadot plays the evil queen. Yes, Gal Gadot, the internationally adored superstar, was cast as the jealous villain who envies Snow White's beauty. Let that sink in for a moment. We're supposed to believe that Godot, the literal Wonder Woman, is seething with jealousy over Rachel Zegler? Even the magic mirror would roll its eyes at that one. Fans didn't hold back, with memes and posts flooding social media pointing out the absurdity. One tweet summed it up perfectly. 
The evil queen doesn't need to poison Snow White, she just needs a good mirror. Savage. Let's talk dollars. Disney has reportedly sunk hundreds of millions into this mess. Between reshoots, PR damage control, and CGI nightmares, this live-action Snow White might as well be a giant money shredder. Industry insiders estimate the total production cost has ballooned to over $300 million, and that's before marketing expenses. If the film bombs as expected, it could rival John Carter and The Lone Ranger as one of Disney's most expensive flops. But hey, at least Disney has its progressive credentials intact, right? Because clearly, that's what fans were clamoring for. A feminist fever dream wrapped in CGI nightmares and political rants. Ziegler's antics haven't just hurt the movie, they've also put her career in jeopardy. Once hailed as a rising star, she's now the poster child for Hollywood hubris. Critics have labeled her behavior unprofessional and toxic, with some even calling for her removal from the project. The hashtag HashfireRachelZegler trended on Twitter, or should we say X, reflecting the depth of public frustration. Meanwhile, Zegler continues to play the victim, claiming she's being targeted for being a strong, independent woman. And to everyone who hates when I win, the winged victory came to the Louvre in pieces and people still line up to see her. And I can only hope that despite my flaws and despite my cracks and my breaks, and there are many of them, that at every premiere and everything I do, people will wait in line to see. Her defenders argue that she simply misunderstood, but as one critic put it, you can't play the victim when you're holding the match that lit the fire. This debacle is just the latest in a string of missteps for Disney. From the Little Mermaid remake to Lightyear, the studio has faced repeated backlash for prioritizing political messaging over quality storytelling. Fans are fed up and the box office numbers reflect it. Disney's once untouchable brand is now synonymous with controversy and declining standards. The failure of Snow White could be a tipping point. With Bob Iger reportedly slashing budgets and cutting projects, the studio can't afford another high-profile flop. But will Disney learn from its mistakes? If history is any indication, probably not. So, what's the end game here? Industry insiders speculate that Disney might quietly shelve the project or release it on Disney Plus to minimize losses. Either way, it's hard to see how this version of Snow White recovers from the colossal mess it's become. Fans, meanwhile, are left wondering what could have been. A faithful adaptation of the original story, with a talented cast and respectful approach, could have been a massive hit. Instead, we got a woke reimagining that seems destined for the bargain bin of cinematic history. And there you have it, the spectacular implosion of Disney's Snow White. What do you think? Is there any saving this train wreck? Or is it doomed to join the ranks of Hollywood's biggest flops? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, or even if you didn't, smash that like button and hit subscribe for more brutally honest takes on the entertainment industry. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming next.